Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. This is a solution video for my math challenge, A Pythagorean Family. In that challenge, I presented the Pythagorean equation for right triangles, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and I offered this Pythagorean family an unending sequence of groups of three numbers that satisfy the Pythagorean equation. Each group generated by an even number, 4, 3, 5, 6, 8, 10, 8, 15, 17, and so on. And I offer the challenge, find the pattern in this sequence of Pythagorean triples, and show algebraically that each triple in this pattern satisfies the Pythagorean equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, there's more than one way to explain this. Here's one way. If you take any one of these even numbers, any one of these starting numbers, and divide it by 2, then square that, then subtract 1 and add 1, you've got the other two numbers. For example, take the 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 squared is 25. Subtract 1, you get 24. Add 1, you've got 26. To take another example, 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 squared is 64. 64 minus 1 is 63. 64 plus 1 is 65. So I could call the beginning even number 2n. Divide that by 2 and I get n. And so the other two numbers are n squared minus 1 and n squared plus 1. Our task now is to show that these three numbers satisfy the Pythagorean equation. And so we need to compare 2n squared plus n squared minus 1 squared with n squared plus 1 squared. Well, on the left side, when we square 2n, we get 4n squared, plus when we square n squared minus 1, that's multiplying that binomial by itself, we get n to the fourth power minus 2n squared plus 1. We combine the like terms 4n squared and minus 2n squared, and we get this single, single middle term, positive 2n squared. And so the left side turns out to be n to the fourth power plus 2n squared plus 1. On the right side, when we square n squared plus 1, we get n to the fourth power plus 2n squared plus 1. We have the same thing on both sides, so the left side equals the right side, and that means these three numbers satisfy the Pythagorean equation. And that's my solution for my math challenge, A Pythagorean Family. Thank you for watching.